Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Dogs Crochet. Today I want to show you yet another dishcloth tutorial. If you want to see all my other dishcloths, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So the cloth today will be made in the crunch stitch, which is a very beautiful stitch. It's not my favorite stitch. It's actually a combination of my two fe least favorite stitches, which is the slip stitch and the half double crochet. And it does not work up really fast, but it's a very, very pretty stitch. So I still recommend you trying it out. The stitch numbers today will be for this size and I will show you it measures 19 centimeters across if you want your cloth to be a bit bigger you can easily adjust the length of the chain you will just add more chains on my home page uh, i will leave a link down below on my home page there's a written free pattern for this cloth and in there i will mention the stitch numbers for um you know 25 30 and so on uh, centimeters so you know how many stitches you will need for bigger cloth so let's begin first a little about the materials for the yarn i've used this 100 percent cotton yarn in a size sport weight 2. this is a rosy pink color and i will write down in the description how much yarn you will need for this cloth then i've used a three millimeter hook and some scissors and finally, a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. So for this pattern to work, you will work an uneven number of stitches. I will do 51 stitches, but you will just do any uneven number. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn. Take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain. So you yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. I will do 51 chains in total. When I have 51 chains, I will now begin working into these chains. I will skip the first two chains and work a slip stitch in the third chain. So skip two chains, Insert the hook in the third chain, then yarn over and pull through both loops. So one, two, and that's a slip stitch. Then you find your next chain on the bottom down here, this one, and then you'll work a half double crochet into this chain. So yarn over, insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull through. Then you have three loops on your hook, then you yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then you'll find the next chain down on the bottom and work a slip stitch into this. So insert the hook in this next chain, yarn over and pull through both loops. Then you'll work a half double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over. Insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull through. Then you have three loops on the hook. Then you yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then you work a slip stitch in the next. Then you continue like this all the way across. So one slip stitch, one half double crochet, one slip stitch, one half double crochet, all the way across. At the end of the row, you should finish on a slip stitch. Then you chain two to turn the work. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, and then you turn the work. Then you skip these two turning chains and you also skip the first stitch. So you will actually be moving on to the fourth stitch, which is a half double crochet. And you will work a slip stitch in this fourth stitch. So just insert the hook in the fourth stitch and slip stitch. Then you work a half double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then work a slip stitch in the next stitch, and then a half double crochet in the next. 
So you will be working slip stitches on top of half double crochet and half double crochet on top of slip stitches. Then you continue like this all the way across. When you're done with this row, it looks like this. And you finished on a half double crochet. But we always want to finish on a slip stitch. So you see this turning chain down here from the previous row? You will work a slip stitch into this turning chain. So insert the hook into the chain, then yarn over and pull through, pull through. And now we're done with the row. Then we chain two to turn the work. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Then turn and then repeat the same step again. So we will repeat row two. So skip the first two turning chains, also skip the third one and move on to the fourth stitch again. In this fourth stitch, you will do a slip stitch. So insert the hook, then yarn over and pull through, pull through. That's your first slip stitch. Then work a half double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull through. You now have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then work a slip stitch in the next. So continue with a slip stitch, then a half double crochet, then a slip stitch, then a half double crochet, again and again. You will just be repeating row two. So at the end of the row, you will finish on a half double crochet and then you will work a slip stitch in the turning chain, then chain two and turn the work. So repeat row two again and again. Until it has the same height as it is wide. And I've done 19 centimeters across, so I've done 19 centimeters tall as well. So now we will finish it up. So cut the yarn, leave a bit of, uh, a bit of yarn for sewing, and then pull the hook through the loop. And find your tapestry needle and weave in the Then you cut the yarn and then you have your cloth. It's so beautiful. I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please press thumbs up and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.